five. Jan Brimby against Luca Gadis, table five. Table 13, Clinio Pecci against Kevin Lenoy, table 14. And on table 16, Casper Bustay. <laughs> But <clears throat> I have found with the alternate break, it's starting to get, it's got that little tennis feel where you're really looking for a break of serve. Yeah. And uh, there's, oh, yeah. that's a skin colored glove, almost. <laughs> almost can't see it. Good start in the sense that he can still see the four. He's doing something else. He's doing the bank and just hoping the cue ball clears away. Yeah, that's very nicely done if it goes in. Oh. That's a pretty clever shot because of his uh, action. But he's electing to trust the table, and that's a good shot. Yeah. So let's have ref eyes on this. <laughs> good camera angle we can see from there. Okay. Hit it clean. But he was gunning. If he played that pace, he's going for the nine. I don't know if you were able to watch Nick Vanderberg's match yesterday, uh, but he played a few shots with his Ooh. left hand and made it look rather easy. Oh yeah, he's, he's, he's a bit like Ronnie in the sense, you know, equal length of the table, so just basically center ball, he could avoid the eight ball. Ooh. It oh. sounded like he had a, a, a weird contact when he hit it. Well, it wasn't an easy shot, but it's got Quentin back to the table. And I don't... Shouldn't. Both players actually used to be with Mescues. Quinton has stayed. Makonen is beautiful. And this one is all one of the older axes, I think, from Mes. Absolutely. How many junior titles has he got in? Uh that's a good question to throw out to If the somebody in the chat knows, <laughs> let me know. Uh, and also, if he's won any of the men's events yet, he must have done already. Probably two or three at least. Oh, got into that. In the chat, race to nine. First blood goes to your local guy. Yep. It's a good sign. Yep. I think now bringing the young bloods through, and it's really good to watch. Good safety behind the nine. Yeah, correct pace. Yeah, a little. He's already had some TV table time as well, which normally would bode in at his advantage. And but this one didn't work out easily. So Quinton will jack Ooh, up a bit. He's shaking a little bit. Yeah. Or was that our cam oh, or was oh, that our oh. cameraman? <laughs> if I played the logical song from Scooter, I'm sorry. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Oof. Oof. Nearly. I mean, that was awesome. The fact that he, any position on the three, had the cue ball left there. So. Yeah, good shot. Avoiding the five, it looks like for me. In the booth, I have nothing to do because I was lucky enough to win 9-8. So this means the rest of the day, I'm actually off. <laughs> yep. We have a market outside, and uh, it's non-stop. Players coming and going, yeah. able to get nice food, nice drink, ready for the rest of the day. And it Ooh. will be a long day for those. Very close to the seven there. Ooh. Yeah. Back to even Stevens. Yeah. If he were to uh, put these three balls away. Yeah. A couple of times in tournament. Got close once. And the other one, I got absolutely hammered. When he's hot, he's hot. Yeah. Although he's short on the nine here. The table's overnight because they've obviously been played on after the uh, last matches yesterday. Oof, oof. thin. <laughs> but the tables are, are wearing in in, in, the, in the sense. Nah, I, f I feel some of the other tables play a little bit faster. But let's see how the break goes here. Yeah. Oof, Found the one. nearly got the nine. Nine was moving, certainly. Is he really going for the cross bank? He did. What a shot. Great shot. Good notch as well. Fortune favors oh. the brain.
raise. Oh my god. Pushing him then. He can actually, and it looks like he is playing that. Four would be a gimme without. See the there? Ah, Ooh. okay. I don't know. Did he hit it hard? Yeah, he stayed under the seven. It looked like either go crown three or go crown four, which is obviously a classic. Yep. Uh, but. The, oh, he's tried it already. And, and then gotten bad luck. But he's a good jumper. So not want to hit this full in the face, though. If he hits this. He needs a bit. Oh, yeah. you see. They that really. If you put left on there, it, it's getting more left on these ones. So that's why you have to be a little bit careful. I wasn't too sure if that was the right way to go. Nah, me neither. Uh, probably the three railer. Only because you're not having to put spin on and, and, and you know, depending yeah. on. There the well, Quentin will be rubbing his hands together at this opportunity. Yeah, he's played that nice, keeping it off the cushion. Any early match jitters on either side. Both of them seem to have got their shoulders relaxed. Keeping good rhythm. Mm. No, I wasn't. I was just here for commentating. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. With the Orange Forks team. Our 10-year anniversary this year, so in night. Yeah. With our DJ Danny. Kindly. Thank you very much. It was awesome. I would be delighted to do that again. That was so much fun on Thursday, as we have another wreck from Quinton, 2-1 in front. However, with with the pleasure of having the likes of you coming, but that was, is that's so absolutely nervous. incredible. I mean, just going through that whole experience. Oh. Uh, I, can't I can only imagine everyone was getting drawn in to watch it, and it was just yeah. getting more electric. That's a break. Lowest players on planet Earth, Fergal O'Brien and Ralph Sukey comes to mind. When I was on the six colors, I think I took like four or five minutes to just pot six balls. <laughs> I was that nervous. <laughs> That's how you compose yourself, though. Yeah. Uh, 100 breaks are around six, seven minutes. Nice. But that's obviously like low hundreds, like 102 or whatever. Oh, but Quin Quinton's make it perfect for normal center ball stun. So yep. your nine ball matches must be averaging about 45 seconds. <laughs> I had some good racks yesterday on table seven, I think it was, or six, against an opponent from Holland. Uh, I could see he was a fairly new player, so some of the racks were really quick. That, that table broke beautifully. Um, well, this is how I remember watching Quinton play the last time. Yeah, quick. He, yeah, makes his patterns look rather simple. And it looks like also he's one of those players that maybe doesn't do the biggest of long pots and whatever, but he has so good patterns that yeah. he's not too far away from. He doesn't care who he's playing. He really doesn't, uh, from, from, from my experience so far, um, you know, when playing the more experienced mm. players, players that he may have seen on TV. I think Barbie Girl before going on with that haircut, but it was quite electric. Let's see what this cue ball, ooh, he's got really got the cue ball hooking back up towards that nine. Yeah. He missed it by a whisker. We can start seeing some golden breaks coming in. Yeah, too thick. Yeah. But he With was, playing, he was playing it as a two-way shot as well. But oh, he's on the he's on the air drive three, yeah. Oh! Made the jump. Oh, it's always going to be difficult if the cue ball's still bouncing to keep it. Yeah, because he's got the eight and the nine in, in the way for coming across for the five. So he's just want to be... A bit particular on the four. Oh. Five as well. I see that we're hitting 650 plus people watching on... Uh the uh, Orange Forks Open is brought to you by Predator here in the Wizards uh, Pool Club in Lelystad. Yeah. In the Netherlands. And we have Hosea Cues. And we also have Go Customs. Yeah, he's become one of... Great reports on his jump cues every person i've met that has one swears by it yeah right higher and longer in but <laughs> let's not get into the jump talk because it riles up the people in the chat you have all those americans as soon as they wake up from their morning coffee <laughs> i don't like that jump. to kick yeah you break yeah. with your normal stick yeah. um, i'm a jump guy you, you could jump but you had to jump with your normal stick you weren't able to jump with ah, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah 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 and uh and it was it was like the old days, I guess yeah. they say. Missing a difficult jump shot. Um, Let's see how much he cuts it and the speed. Yeah, a bit more speed, but no control over the one. Careful. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Okay. The nine's correct. Split, if you like. And these balls have been really 
well polished and cleaned. And yeah. How long does that last, typically? It lasts a full match, I would say. Okay. This is a tricky shot. What? Ah. He went I would like it. to see slow replay on that. That was full-blooded. Yeah, what I would say is the angles there on a three, because then you can do the work yourself. Yeah. About 45, 50 degrees. Although he's opting for something different. I think he would have more. And he's got to hope that he hits just before the middle pocket, I think. Exactly like this. Ooh. Yeah. And he had to just graze. Just going to land. Middle diamond on the bottom cushion, or top cushion for our view. Pretty much. Yeah, but he's. I think he's played it wrong there. I think he's. He should have had more angle. Have a war with the flags. <laughs> and remember, we are in the Netherlands. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, too thin. Yeah, that was that was a that was a tricky shot. There's uh, something to take into account. And he's played a decent one there. Good position on the six. Natural to come around in two. Yeah. No heroics with backspin. They're still very slippery, these cloths. Perfect. Yeah. Stop shot. And it gives confidence as well to Petri because he's one of those. He can get a little bit down on himself if, if he's like, I got him. Yeah. Pounce. He pounces on it. And do you think the alternate break can sometimes snuff that out? Can it shift? Can it sort of drag momentum back? Because it really is a game of momentum shifts. Especially on the races to nine. Yeah, it's. Uh, I think. I think though, for front runners, they would. They would always like to play. He makes it look easy, but I assure you, it is not. As a. As a. A fan of great streams, I have to take my hat off. If I had one. And it'll just hop and lose it all. <laughs> yeah. I think he's right though to try the cushion first. Yeah. Ooh. That, that pace, it made it tight. And you see the position was good? Yeah, really good. Wow. So. Oh, fluk. Fluk. Yep. But no luck. <laughs> hmm. I think that leaves more of a chance for leaving something. But I could be wrong. Yeah. Yeah. Sell out. Yeah, a little harder than into a better position because he's been listening to you now. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, he's doing the inside. That's a clever one as well. Yeah. Then, then you trust the cue, the cloth, and everything. So, let's see if he powers this in. No, he's done the other. Hearts done to the center of the table here to get on the six. But he's thicked that yeah. for the middle pocket. And then out. Just like that. Yep. Yeah. Good save. It's a big turn in the score line. From 3 1 yeah. down to 4 3. Is that, is that right? I think I'm it's about sure. right. I think it's about right because he has been a little bit unlucky on a couple of the shots. Um, and I don't think all of the, let's say, decisions that Quinton has done has been correct. No, that was a questionable, the, the, the 1 9. Yeah, he I'm not too sure what he had. The cue ball now. And he's still aiming quite high compared to a few other players. That's better. Yeah, he Bit did more put more in. Yeah, you're right. He's read it. He's come away with a shape on. I like the other one more, even though it's a tougher pot. Yeah. He was always going to leave something there if it was. Yeah, so that's with that chance. Yeah. That was a good case of uh, hitting it thin and p in the pocket. Yeah. Good shape on the floor now. Yeah, that was... Ooh. I was thinking he was probably going to go full power if he felt he couldn't get... Yeah, such a shot maker, he's going to cut this thin. He's got a natural angle here. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Perfect on the five. Good lad. <laughs> if it w would be to turn the screw on a bit. The Mako shark. He sends blood. 
and then he pounces. <laughs> well. Although I will say he doesn't look as scary as a Mako Shark because that's probably the definitely is scary to the opponent in the chair sometimes. Yeah. And I don't know, that's certainly not going to help Quinton being stuck in the chair. Nope. He might run away with it now because it's going to be 5-3. Five, 5-3 three. Five, three, and the crowds are getting bigger in the hall. Didn't like that, so we're going to make some modifications. He's moving closer to the center now. Okay, he's okay. read it. Oh, but cue ball. Where is it going? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. yeah. They're trying to r normally keep it out as wide as yep. possible. And also he took maybe five gram of speed off. Ooh, using all the pocket there. Uh, he took a little bit off the speed. Big enough that he can just, well, I said no heroics. Why is he doing that? Still missable. I don't like that shot. That's what they say over there. But he's done well. That's super clean. Deed himself. Maybe he was a little bit straighter than I thought it was. Could have been the reason why he chose that pattern. Hit it dead straight. Use the pocket a little bit and you have good position on the eight. Just like he's done there. Play the table. Yeah, he's Perfect. taking his opportunity. Yeah. Yeah. Nine is looming. And five, four. Slams it in. Yeah. Quentin won't be feeling disheartened here. Uh, Ronan Cope today is through to the next round. And let's have a look here. And Alan Brown from Scotland was successful 8-1. I could play it without feeling, okay, it <laughs> might be too hard. <laughs> Everyone's going to start looking at me. Ooh, that's, that's a it. great shot. Yeah. A new... Uh, mm, tournaments where I sat there. Uh, Fein was playing and he was actually a little bit annoyed with how was we, we were just talking and having a good yeah. time and obviously we get carried away because they played some awesome stuff yeah but and they can hear you and we we the camera work going on yeah I believe it's Joris doing the work at the moment and you really get into some of these shots in a way that up until everyone at home gets to really get immersed up between the nine or is he no he's gonna do the that's a bad shot yeah just thinned it, it and a five up the other end. Let's see how he does. Oh, he's tried the inside. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. But again. Or is he cutting it? And he's gone for the bank. Oh, it's come round the nine. He's played that very well. Chance for Quentin then to really snuff out the fire and keep the momentum with him. Yeah. He, his opening shot looked like he meant business with that. Yeah. Mm. The right thing to do. Unless he's just going to curl it very slowly. Yeah, okay. Nah, center pocket. Yep. That's the right shot. This team works extremely hard to make this a pro, pro looking tournament. Well done. Clean pot on the nine. Yeah, and that was important. Two up again. Yeah. Away from the edge. Thank you, Yoris. That's a nice looking angle. Yeah. Perfect this time. Yeah. Cue ball still tracing towards the middle pocket, threatening. But because he's played going going down fully would be a little bit of a, a risk. Yeah. Center of the table. Do you think he would rather the six and eight stay there or Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's looking like that. He's gonna try and see if he can get half. Oh, Ooh. well, that helps. <laughs> not the plan. It was the no. eighth. He's, he's not going to uh, get into the center pocket, but he's going to leave if he doesn't pot. Too thin yeah, almost. Nah, it's clean. Very well. Clean, clean. And perfect on the five. He has to do nothing to get over on the right side of the six ball. Cleanliness pots from him. Very nice. Yeah. Decent angle. Paste. Do you want to be almost straight on the seven and draw it back? Or do you actually want to go around in a couple of cushions? He goes around a couple yeah. of cushions. Yeah. One, two. Natural. Mm -hmm. Do too much with the cue ball. And Little if he does have too much angle, he can come across, of course. Yeah. Just extra side spin, low yeah. speed, and let the cue ball do the work itself. Nice. Not Very too nice. much distance. Still kill this.
It's all right. Yep. Although a, a bit little close to the cushion. Yep. Can he do it? Yes, yes. he can. Well. Pongers Brothers, right? The other guy is the older guy? I believe. I believe so, but I could be wrong. Um, That's not nice. They're both quite we tall. We might get to find out later in this tournament. Stand next to each other and then we could see. Oh, is he going to get it? Or is there a gap? Oh my god, I think he's found a gap. Looks or like somebody maybe walking past him right in his shot. I don't know. Hmm. But that's worrying signs for, for Quentin here. Yeah, I mean... He's going to screw back into the cushion here for the four in the corner. Hmm. He doesn't want to roll too far forward here. Nah. Because really it's a left-handed shot else, how? Oh, and that two ball just did not want to play. Perfect. Well. He's making it look easy. <laughs> Yeah, he is. <laughs> He's a geezer. Go on, son. So. Uh, this will take Petri to the hill. And it really means Quinton has to come with something now. Ooh. Tournament. That's a good, uh, that's a good beer. He, a good beer yeah. and a really good tournament. Yeah. And uh, with as big as turnout as here. Picks here. Cliff is a very consistent player. Oh, yes, yes. Yeah. Oh. He was worried he was coming the wrong side. Two or three balls back, maybe. Then it's a natural angle to go from the four to the five on the other side. Exactly like that. Is it not? Yeah. For that, with that angle, he should go to the other side. Exactly. Clean. Good angle. Yeah, yeah. Because this one is quite easy to do without the inside, but he likes to play the inside, so just like that. Yeah. Perfect angle left around in two cushions. Left. Speaking from your experience, you recognize that that's the type of player Petri is. Yeah. And uh, he makes it look ex ex especially easy. He just becomes better and better when he sees weakness from his opponent. And I think this is his second match on the TV table now, so he's becoming a veteran of the TV table. He deserves to be there with his level of play as the handshake comes. Well done, Petri Makinen, best in Quinton Pongers, 9-4. to four.